what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity John SPK thank you God kick the beat so guys today we're back with another church scandal video and for those of us who are from the african-american community there are many different denominations that may define us uh, one is church of god in christ you know that's more of the thank you lord you know shouting and, and, and crazy dancing and um speaking in tongues you know the pentecostal it is the number one uh denomination of african americans then you have national baptist association or the national baptist conference that was you know the number one until it was overtaken by kojic about a few years ago you know um that's been very very prominent our family is national baptist but the cream of the crop the one church I feel has done the most for our people, uh, not only in America, but you can see evidences of this even in Liberia, is the AME Church. It is the cream of the crop. This is the home of the black elites, especially amongst the Philadelphias of the world, where Richard Allen started the AME Church. Um, it helped a lot of blacks coming from slavery. Most of our intellectuals uh, are from there. Our, our great universities like Wilberforce in Ohio is associated with the AME Church. They were um, really, really involved in sending blacks back to Africa. The AME Church went back with African-Americans to Liberia. AME is our gold standard. So when we talk about the AME Church, and although it's not as exciting as Kojic or Baptist, this is what our people fought for us to do. And when we talk about AME, you can't have anything but respect for what this organization has done. Unfortunately, the AME church has found itself in a financial disaster. And pastors have filed three federal lawsuits about their retirements that have been lost due to AME's church's mismanagement uh, of funds. Now, let me kind of talk about how AME church operates. AME church is not like your typical national Baptist church or non-denominational church on the street, you know, which is, you know, it's, it operates by itself. It's not in any kind of, you know, they don't ask to a board or anybody like that. AME churches operate something like the Catholic church. So you can be in one city um, and then the bishop can move you to another city. It's very, very common um, in AME churches. And so these people, usually highly educated people that come from AME, AME is a very goal oriented uh, denomination. They have pensions. So many people spend their entire lives pastoring through AME churches and the pensions are supposed to be there and they're retired. But what's happened is, is that Reverend Charles Jackson in Orlando alleges that the churches were negligent and breached their fiduciary responsibilities. What is he trying to say? Um, these Negroes allege that between 80 to $90 million was unaccounted for um, in 2020 to 2021. The AME Church has been around since the 1700s, expanding across the country and the world with membership in 39 countries on five continents, according to its website. It's now a defendant in a class action lawsuit filed by Jacksonville attorney Fred Tromberg. We filed a class action lawsuit to get that money and find out, A, where the money is gone, B, how much is missing, C, where did it go, and D, who took the money. Lost these people's monies and 100 million of the participant retirement savings is lost. In other words, they cannot pay their bills. Um, and they're not getting any retirement funds. Now, let me talk about this. We are in a time where people don't trust the black church. The AME church, although it has problems because they have you know universities all over the United States um, and, and, and in black colleges, even in Liberia, this was the last church I felt like was gonna be the whole, okay? But here we go with people stealing money again. Now, let me just talk about this. Remember Morris Brown College in, in Atlanta? Remember when it closed down? Yeah, it closed down because mismanagement funds and no money being donated back to it. All right? Wilberforce is still going forth. Monrovia College is still going forth. But what we're seeing now is with a lot of blacks, you know, distrusting the church, you're seeing these ministers steal from each other. And these are people who are educated. 
people who are elite class of people doing it to each other. How then can you think that black Christians are gonna support you when you are stealing from your own people? That is the problem that we are having in the church today. And let me say this, it is sad. These people, these preachers who could have went out on their own, they could have went non-denominational, they stayed within the hierarchy of the AME and they dedicated themselves to God's work only to be stolen, the money stolen, and the black churches have been stealing all the time. Like I tell you, we have no new medical schools, no new law schools, no engineering programs. I mean, you know, we, we do have the United Negro College Fund, but I don't think many people donate to that. I'm gonna start back giving back to that. But now people are questioning stuff, right? Like why should we donate money? Because it's a scam. That's why so many black people don't give money to organizations. We don't know which ones are the right ones to give. I'm not going against the church. Um, I, I would like to see the leadership um, held accountable. Ewing says he received statements twice a year showing what he believed was in his pension fund. We thought it was okay. The lawsuit names other defendants, including two financial services companies and the now former executive director of the church's Department of Retirement Services. Tromberg says his preliminary investigation shows the church has admitted financial irregularities. They admitted to somewhere between $45 million and $90 million that was missing. We think it's north of 100 million, and that's not including the return on investment that should be there. Tromberg says he's looking to track down the money. Like people are tired of getting scammed. And then the church, you know, you, you scam the people. Out of 90, out of 100, you, you lose 100 million dollars. People depend on this money that have, have worked for that money and they can't get paid. What do the new ministers joining AME, what are they supposed to feel like? Can they trust you? It makes everybody not trust you. It makes ministers not want to stay there, not want to deal with the organization. Because why? You are corrupt. And it's sad, you know, for what it's worth, you know, for all the stuff that the AME church has overcome in, in our history and, um, you know, in the development of the African-American community and educating our people and educating Africans around the world. This is sad because you can't even manage the funds for your own ministers. What then will you do for your members? And it's a goddamn shame. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. Party pictures you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.